good morning everyone it's uh, Saturday the 19th of September today um, I'm going to do a few kind of quick updates um, on the allotment in a bit but I thought I would start in the potting shed um, what I wanted to just show you was um, basically all the tomato plants and cucumbers are gone I took them down yesterday I'm going to take the compost and the tops down to the allotment in a minute and put them on the compost bin down there because we haven't really got enough room in our little Dalek compost bins up here for, for that amount of material um, but it's good stuff so um, there's no blight or anything on it so uh, it can compost down there but what I wanted to just show you in here is um, when we haven't got the tomatoes and cucumbers in here in the summer we have this um, bench which is basically just some boards and battens that I made up um, on a couple of trestle legs um, which we overwinter um, plants from the garden or um, bring on things like geraniums like this one here um, it gets cold in here but it's relatively frost free so um, it's not heated um, but it does um, keep the worst of the winter weather off and what I wanted to talk about was um, onion sets I haven't done overwintering onion sets now for two or three years primarily because um, either they've got um, very cold with either frost or snow cover um, or very wet we just had um, a kind of couple of successions of wet winters and the soil on the plot is quite uh, it's got quite a lot of clay in it so it does tend to um, hold the water over the winter and some plants particularly young um, plants and onions in particular seem to get quite waterlogged um, and die just because um, they rot off. So what I was going to do was try this year, which uh, my neighbouring plot holder has done in the past, is grow my overwintering onion sets in modules. So I did this yesterday, just um, basically um, planting modules, one set per um, module, um, which gives me what? Uh, four wide and three six four wide and six are they six one two three four five six six twenty yeah twenty four so uh forty eight white or yellow no they're yellow aren't they yellow onions and forty eight red onions all ready to go um for the spring and then when the spring comes sort of February March time depending on what the weather's like I'll put them out. Um, on the plot they should by then hopefully have a good root system in place um, and take well we'll see what happens I've got a few left over because um, they're done by weight rather than number um, in our allotment shop so I'm going to take those down to the plot and put them in the ground just on the basis of I might as well it's better than throwing them away and wasting them um, but uh, we'll see what happens to those as well compared to these and um, be another little um, experiment but um, these will stay in here over the winter just have to keep um, making sure they've got enough water and not getting too wet in here because sometimes the roof does leak um, but yeah I'm hoping that by the spring we'll have um, some onion sets which are forming into proper baby onions that can go out on the plot um, and will do much better than if I put them out there directly at this time of the year we'll see Anyway, I'm off to the plot and I'll update you again in a bit. Take care. So I've put the remainder out on the plot. Um, row and a half of yellow and a row of red was what I had. Um, and some humming line to stop the birds from digging out what I've planted until they've rooted at least anyway. Okay, the other job I want to do uh, today is just tidy up the loganberries. This time of year you've, we've got um, all this new growth which at the moment is just hanging over my path which isn't very helpful for me getting around the plot um, but also it needs to be tied back in onto the um, wires that support the loganberries. But before I do that um, I need to take out um, all of the older and deader um, material which as you can see this is kind of this is what, um, there's a few that I didn't pick there, Loganberries from this year. Um, 
and you see nothing like that on these plants. Now that's because um, these loganberries are spring fruiting, um, which means they grow the fruit and the flowers for the fruit on last year's new growth, which is this, because this is last year for the next year, if that makes sense. So I need to clear out all of this old growth um, clear that, put it on the compost heap and then just tie in this new growth onto the wires up here um, so we'll get that on there so yeah, that's basically um, what I'm going to do I'll keep the camera running but um, what I'll probably do is just fast forward it because um, it's probably going to be a lot of me um, moving about and chopping with secateurs and, and not a lot else um, all I'm going to do is tie it up um, with string so uh, we shall get cracking and see how we get on. So basically um, I'll run this through a bit faster than uh, normal recording speed just so that you can get an idea of what's involved. Um, basically um, I'm just cutting out right back down to the ground the old growth. Um, the bit of ground behind me is um, clear at the moment so I'm just putting temporarily stuff that I've cut out back on there out of my way and um, give me room to work and um, when I'm finished I'll put all of that uh, on the compost heap but uh, essentially as you can see um, it's quite tangled um, there's last year's string on there which obviously I need to cut away as well um, but in terms of pulling out the older stuff um, within reason you can be fairly um, brutal um, although obviously I'm wearing a good thick pair of gloves to stop myself getting um, too many thorns in my in my fingers. Um, I will say however that um, when it comes to um, tying up um, the remaining new growth um, it's very difficult to do that with those thick gloves on. I think um, you'll see in a minute that I actually end up um, taking off my gloves um, and I certainly managed to get um, a few thorns in my fingers this morning which um, was a little bit painful but um, ultimately it's it's worth it in the long run if um, you get the Logan berries that we've had in the previous years so um, sit back um, and enjoy um, as I say keep this running at, at double speed I think just so that you don't get bored um, in fact I think um, in a minute what I'll probably end up doing is just um, turning the camera off if I remember so that um, you don't end up bored to death with watching me um, and then I'll cut in um, the finished completed uh, makeover at the end So that's the finished looking bushes um, or canes. Um, I'm just now clearing um, back to the compost heap all the cut material. Um, I did at this point lose my scissors somewhere, although I did find them again later. I thought I'd actually managed to drop them in the compost heap. Anyway, that's the Loganberries done. Um, thank you very much for watching this far. 
Um, what follows after this um, are some photos that I took earlier today at our town horticultural show. Um, I don't actually display or enter any of the competitions at the show, um, but I did pop down there um, earlier on this afternoon and take some photos because um, it's nice to see that um, that sort of uh, show and type of event still exists um, in the modern day. Um, but um, as I say, not something that I particularly partake in. I just like to go and spectate. Anyway, as I say, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video um, and I'll catch you again soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.